thank you, uh, everyone, for your presence here. Uh, I want uh, also to acknowledge FINA. It's really a pleasure and an honor to, to share this floor in the, this uh, very nice conference. So uh, I'm going to speak in the, the new uh, starting block facilities and in the eventual benefits that this can produce uh, for uh, swimmers. This presentation was not possible wi without the help of a number of people and uh, some of the colleagues are not only from sports science, they are from medicine, they are from physics, so a big thank you for them also. It's commonly accepted that start time is composed by uh, starting, swimming and uh, turning, so the swimming time is the composition of these three phases, but a uh, few people remember that mainly on short uh, events, the starting time could last until 30% of the total duration. And this is fundamental to, to bear in mind. Mainly because we have a number of swimming techniques that can be used during starts. Of course, the most, the higher number of swimming techniques are uh, ventral techniques, as we, we can see here. Uh, and they can depend on the use of acoustic or uh, visual uh, uh, feedback for starting, uh, mainly if we are using individual uh, competitions or relay competitions, but we can try to develop a number of different techniques. In backstroke, it's uh, uh, now not the same, but we, uh, in fact, have the possibility of choosing techniques with support or without support, and this can, uh, in fact, make the, the difference. Uh, since uh, 2005, the only uh, rule that uh, obliged swimmers to have a specific position in water is the one that said that feet should be immersed. So th the number of uh, studies that appeared were uh, mainly related with the analysis of the competition. However, after that, in 2005, FIRNA allowed the feet to be positioned outside of the water or at the surface. And even in the 2008 Olympic Games, there was the possibility of choosing different hand grips. This is why a number of other studies appear. And nowadays, we know that it's possible to use a uh, backstroke start ledge for fit support. Please, you can uh, turn, off the, turn on the, the video. This is a promotional video where we can see um, the new starting block. You can you turn on the, the sound? If, po if possible, I will comment if not possible. So no problem about that. Uh, what it's shown here, it's the different position of the foot wedge, okay? And then uh, some of the best swimmers will tell us uh, their opinion about that. And they, in summary, they will say that it's very advantage for them because it is an anti-slippery surface, okay? And it adjusts very easily. So it's uh, really uh, an important thing for them. It has several positions uh, for the feet, under the water, and over the water if they want to do it. And this is uh, easily adjustable. And this, in fact, can make the difference between a nice start or what happened in a nice competition uh, not some time ago where this swimmer lose a lot of time and uh, distance for the others because he was not able to start in, in good conditions. So uh, I accept, we accept very well the opinion of the coaches, we accept very well the opinion of the swimmers, but in fact, we need to have data. Okay, we need to have data to work better, even better with uh, the coaches. It is why we have started to up update knowledge and technical technological devices for trying to use better and better techniques during backstroke start. And we have started by doing some literature reviews and publish in some journals and present in some congress, but also some methodological studies uh, namely, the one that we did for the first time using automatic system uh, that when we characterized the, the backstroke start with the qualities uh, 
uh, motion since then. Then we have moved these methodological advances for studies where we tried to relate performance uh, by uh, using backstrokers doing different stunts. So our main goal was to, uh, to try to uh, use this uh, characterization of different feet and position in the, and uh, see the different effects and try to be one of the first groups to try to characterize the effects of the position of the feet on the wedge. And for that, we have developed a dynamometrical central that tried to mimic the new Omega starting block, allowing the performance of a several number of swimming start techniques, but mostly important, in our opinion, trying to discriminate the right from the left foot, the right from the left uh, upper limb. Uh, we show with this for the first time on the Biomechanics and Medicine in Swimming Congress in Canberra, Australia in 2014. Sure that we have based these uh, new advances on uh, previous dynamometrical solution, namely those pre uh, presented by Professor Zatsiorski and by our group in an uh, old Bertek force plate that we have made our first uh, data analysis. Then we tried to, to get better solutions, even uh, including a force platform made by Professor Eli Hosler that is, was used for backstroke starts. Uh, this was published also in some congresses. And then we have included a hand grip instrumented with a load cell to have some data for the upper limbs doing the backstroke start. Moreover, we have always uh, find uh, good groups that presented significant number of studies using other force platforms, namely the group of the Australian Institute of Sport by Professor Bruce Mason that in several occasions presented data regarding uh, starting performances and also uh, the, the block presented, the force platform presented by IMTI uh, used in the study of Dragunas and co-authors in the University of Austern, uh, Ontario here in Canada that afterwards was used by colleagues from the University of Loughborough to do their research and help coaches to, to get uh, better data and better performances. Uh, Kistler also uh, presented to us uh, nice solutions that afterward uh, were uh, perfected in also in the Australian in Institute of Sport and were presented to us in Oslo by Onda and co-authors in their uh, in the data uh, where they, they uh, instrumented the Kistler force platform in the starting block. Nowadays, we have a very strong group from Tsukuba with uh, Professor uh, Hideki Takaji, that's here in the audience, that also presented us very nice solutions with uh, uh, instrumented uh, uh, block with uh, a back plate for the rear foot, uh, a position for the hands, although these, these this uh, force plate for the hands cannot divide the, the left from, from the right, but it's fantastic also. And uh, the position for, for the, the feet in the front, although it's a little bit narrow, so it only presents the, the possibility to put the, the feet in this position. But the data that we can obtain by this is uh, really important, and uh, we are glad to work with all these groups. So after this, we have tried to develop the, the new dynamometrical station for uh, performance, starting performance analysis. We started by the design of the, the new block, test it in a prototype. Uh, please, can you pass the video? And of course, uh, depending a lot, not that one, the previous one, uh, depending a lot on the engineers, on the physics to make the proper calibration and of course to develop the, the, the new software. With all this work, we have reached the swimming uh, starting dynamometrical central that is an integrated unit of uh, hardware and software with seven force plates and prehensile sensors. So we have uh, one force plate for the rear foot, two in the front, differ differentiating the left left from the right foot, two in the lateral for reaching the forces that are obtained by the hands, 
and two uh, inside the water for the backstroke start. This allows us to, to evaluate a number of uh, different ventral starting techniques. You can see here a number of um, different uh, uh, techniques with different position in the, the start position. Okay, we can even evaluate the starting uh, techniques that appears on movement, one step forward or two step forward. So uh, this block can give really us a number of possibilities to test and to help coaches. This is our experimental data setup. Uh, you can put the video, please, with different uh, position and positioning of, of the video cameras. Uh, we are using 3D kinematics, using eight digital video cameras, plus uh, six cameras for automatic capture of, of, uh, of movements. Of course, the, the calibration of all this process, it's not easy, but we are getting better and better with the help of technicians and uh, PhD students. And the results that we can obtain from these, I think uh, they are very interesting. This is an example of a relay uh, evaluation, kinematic, kinematic and kinetical data. This will an example of electromyography data by cable that we can obtain with the rec reconstruction automatic. And uh, here I have the big pleasure to show to you that the Portuguese Swim Swimming Federation uh, went to the, the university to test uh, their best swimmers, which w was the best position from the rear foot. So they tried the bare position, they observed the kinematic data, uh, they spoke with the coach, it was really very good. Um, I can show to you also what are the forces that we obtain, okay, in slow motion. So we can obtain the forces for the different limbs. And of course, we can see some asymmetry because we, we are not machines, so there are some asymmetric forces. This is the cloud of points that we obtain from kinematics. This is the stick figure where we, uh, uh, we have all the segments. And with this, we can have the trajectory of the hands, of the hip, of the lower limbs, of the knees, of the ankles, whatever we want, we can obtain. The data analysis is made by uh, dividing the starting uh, performance by different phases. So the hands off from the signal until the hands leave the, the block, the takeoff from the previous, previous phase until the, the feet leave the, the block, the flight from the previous phase until the center of mass enters the water, and the entry from the previous phase until the feet uh, enters the water. This uh, is measured through force plates and by three-dimensional digital video. And then the underwater phase is measured by uh, quality system, by the automatic electronic uh, system. What about results? Uh, we can show to you a combination of different foot and hands setup position on backstroke start performance. And you can see here in the figures that the swimmer is positioning the hands on the lowest horizontal hand grip, on the highest horizontal hand grip, and in a vertical uh, position, okay? And what we observe uh, is that independently of the type of hand grips, or, uh, lowest horizontal, uh, highest horizontal and vertical, what was really the difference? It was between the position of the feet, if they were completely immersed or if they were immersed. And uh, so we can say that with the feet immersed, the swimmers presented lower values of horizontal and also of vertical impulse. And this is one of the most important parameters for the all backstroke uh, performance. We obtained the same data for the hands. So lower hands horizontal and vertical impulse. This is uh, really uh, important. Uh, we can say also uh, regarding uh, kinematics that we have observed when the feet, e they are immersed, uh, a lower center of mass vertical setup position, okay? Interestingly, Although we find this data for the uh, position, uh, the phases on the block, 
when we measure the total 15 meters performance time, we didn't observe significant differences between this position of the feet, although we can see that when the feet are uh, immersed, they always presented higher uh, time doing the, the performance, what is not good. We, we need to have shorter time to be faster and to be uh, uh, better, better com competitors. And what about the first study where we have used the wedge, okay? Here we can uh, show to you the kinematic effects of the different feet and the hand position using the wedge. And here we can say that when uh, positioning the hands on the vertical position, okay, and the feet on the wedge, the swimmers always presented higher takeoff angle, okay, higher center of mass position during the flight, and higher center of mass velocity during the entry in the water. So these are nice parameters that can be obtained only by putting the hands on the vertical position and using the feet on the wedge on the new starting block. This is really interesting. In addition, we observed that independent of the start variant, the swimmers used a quasi proximal to distal joint extension sequence. So they extended first the hip and then they extended at the same time the knee and the ankle. And in the figure, we can observe some standardized mean differences with 95% confidence interval uh, of times of joint angular velocity values, where we can see that, in fact, the knee spent more time in its movement of extension than the hip, and the ankle spent more time in the same movement than the, the hip. So to finalize, I would like to propose some take uh, home messages, okay? First thing, when we don't dispose the wedge, positioning the feet partially or completely emerge can give the swimmers great advantage, mainly when we are speaking on the phases of hands off and take off. But using the lowest horizontal hand grip is not so good because it will lead to a more flat uh, flight. Using vertical hand grips and feet on the wedge allows greater takeoff angle, center of uh, mass vertical positioning during the flight, and also higher center of mass vertical velocity during immersion. This will lead to less resistant flight, reducing deceleration. And there is a quasi proximal to distal lower limb joint extension sequence independent of the start variant that we use. First the hip, then the knee, and the ankle. The, this can be trained also in the dry land training. Finally, swimmers should prioritize a completely out of the water body setup position uh, with the wedge and using the highest horizontal or vi vertical hand grip that can uh, minimize water resistance during flight and entry can generate proper partition between both horizontal and vertical impulse and allow body velocity to decrease the less possible during glide. That is a fundamental phase of the starting performance. They should try to have a firm start from the wall without slippage. And finally, mainly for age group swimmers, they should train on more advanced starting blocks and not try to mimic their idols without training these a lot and then a lot of times. Thank you so much for your attention.